But first, ladies and gentlemen, on this channel, I like to read you a random Bible chapter. Why? Because a verse just won't cut it. Okay? Okay. So let's go ahead and uh, pull up the randomizer here. And three. Two. Good morning, Z Sigma Warden. You thought I was going to hit one, right? Huh? Huh? See? Z, Z made it even more random. One. James five. Here we go. James five. Come now, you rich. Weep and howl for your miseries which are coming upon you. Your riches have rotted and your garments have become moth-eaten. Your gold and your silver have rusted, and their rust will be a witness against you and will consume your flesh like fire. It is in the last days that you have stored up your treasure. Behold the pay of the laborers who mowed your fields, and which has been withheld by you, cries out against you, and the outcry of those who did the harvesting has reached the ears of the Lord of the Sabbath. You have lived luxuriously on the earth and led a life of wanton pleasure. You have fattened your hearts in a day of slaughter. You have condemned and put to death the righteous man. He does not resist you. Therefore, be patient, brethren, until the coming of the Lord. The farmer waits for the precious produce of the soil, being patient about it, until it gets, it, until it gets the early and late rains. You too be patient. Strengthen your hearts, for the coming of the Lord is near. Do not complain, brethren, against one another, so that yourselves may not be judged. Behold, the judge is standing right at the door. As an example, brethren, of suffering and patience, take the prophets who spoke in the name of the Lord. We count those blessed who endured. You have heard of the endurance of Job, and have seen the outcome of the Lord's dealings, that the Lord is full of compassion and is merciful. But above all, my brethren, do not swear, either by heaven or by earth, or with any other oath, but your yes is to be yes, and your no, no, so that you may not fall under judgment. Is anyone among you suffering? Then he must pray. Is anyone cheerful? He is, he is to sing praises. Is anyone among you sick? Then he must call for the elders of the church, and they are to pray over him anointing him with oil in the name of Yahuwah. And the prayer of offered in faith will restore the one who is sick, and the Lord will raise him up, and if he has committed sins, they will be forgiven him. Therefore, confess your sins to one another, and pray for one another so that you may be healed. The effective prayer of a righteous man can accomplish much. Elijah was a man with a nature like ours, and he prayed earnestly that it would not rain, and it did not rain on the earth for three years and six months. Then he prayed again, and the sky poured rain, and the earth produced its fruit. My brethren, if any of among you strays from the truth and one turns him back, let him know that he who turns a sinner from the error of his ways will save his soul from death and will cover a multitude of of sins ladies and gentlemen i thank you guys for joining me this was the random chapter of the day james 5 and uh man is it a wonderful day let me remind you what today is december 25th so uh are you storing up gold and silver that'll rust and be a witness against you I, I know what I'm doing. I'm being honest to my brother and, and my sisters and people that are out there so I can save your soul from death. Drop this consumerism day. This has nothing to do with Christ. Except for whatever you want to make it feel like you want it to do so you can feel good about the other things. Did you know Christmas was illegal in the Christian country of the United States? for a while it's only within the last hundred years that we've even had a santa claus 
when our government has a NORAD tracker on a fake thing, why is everything off in this secular world on a day that is for Christians only? You know any atheists with trees? I bet you I can point one out. So I hope I planted a seed to save you from death. The the few and the many that are going to watch this later when I when I post it on the uh, the other platforms. Hopefully you guys can uh, just look into it, and maybe next year. Maybe next year today will be a little bit different for you. I hope this blesses you. Thank you guys for joining me with the random Bible chapter. <laughs>